Hey, blessed morning, Grateful Gal family. Welcome into the Grateful Gal Sports Huddle with myself and Frankie Fly. Morning, morning. Hey, y'all know what time it is, man. It's full of sports. Opening opening day for Major League Baseball is here. The yes, NCAA, the NCAA tournament is in the Final Four. XFL is in Week Seven. The NBA playoffs is about to heat up. You know, it's, it's a lot going on, man. You know, come here every Thursday and Saturday, get everything sports, get everything God. You know, we about to get directly into it. So, but before we get into that, I'm about to get directly to the daily verse. Daily verse for the date of March 30th, 2023, derived from the book of Titus, chapter 3, verse 5, and it states as follows. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And again, it's from the book of Titus, chapter 3, verse 5. And uh, like I said this morning, you know, obviously we got a full slate of sports this morning. About to get directly into it. Kicking it off with the NCAA Men's Final Four. Um, Y'all can check that out this weekend, April 1st. Um, The first game we have in the Final Four, we have Florida Atlantic going up against San Diego State at mm-hmm. 6.09 on CBS. Um, who do you think will win out of that game? Who do you think is going to be the, the final uh, four championship <clears> team? <throat> like the two I, I think I got one of them on uh on my little fan door. Give me one second. I forgot. I just I did it randomly last night. But I think I lost that bet anyway. So at this <laughs> point it doesn't even matter. But I if if all was well, I would have picked um San Diego State. Yeah, I think San Diego State is going to beat Florida Atlantic. They're definitely on a on a momentum right now. They have a they have a, a good momentum going, and I think UConn is going to upset Miami. Well, it won't be an upset because UConn is ranked over them, but I think uh, San Diego State is going to take it all the way this year as well, just because okay. of like I said, the momentum they've been going going with, um, how they've been playing together. You know, selfless basketball. But Florida Atlantic is a good team as well, so. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to seeing all these games this weekend. I'm definitely going to be tuned in to, to, the, to these two games and the two games from the NCAA women. Um, so, hey, shout out to Maryland too, man. You know, y'all made it Thanks. to the Elite Eight, man. You know, y'all, y'all had a hard, you know, hard fought season. Um, so, shout out to the lady, the lady turtles. I guess that's what y'all call turks, 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 turks. Turks. Okay, my bad. No, no disrespect. <laughs> no disrespect. Um, and then at eight forty nine tomorrow, not tomorrow, excuse me. At 8.49 on April 1st, we have Miami going up against UConn as well. Again, that's going to be a good game. Um, I picked, I picked Miami over um, – who, who did they just beat last week? Let me see. I forgot. Um, they played oh, – who did they play? They played Texas. Yeah, that was a good game. Yeah, I, I yeah, picked yeah, yeah. Texas. That was a good game. So, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to these games this weekend. And, um, you know, made the best team win. And you know it's only it's only gonna be one champion at the end of the day. But shout out to all those um, organizations who made it this far to be able to compete for um, men's championship here in the final four. So let's get it. Moving on That's to so. the NCAA women's this weekend for the final four, we have um, four outstanding teams as well. We have number one South Carolina going up against number two Iowa. I think I'm going to take South Carolina, um, even though mm-hmm. Iowa is going to be a great matchup. It's going to be a good game. Like I said, I'm looking forward to these games as well. My daughters and I, we're going to be glued to the TV. And then um, the first game of the Final Four for the women is actually the, the number three LSU going to be his number number one Virginia Tech game. Um, and this one, I would love to be able to see an L- uh, a SEC matchup for the championship. So so either, so, either, so either way it goes, if, if LSU or South Carolina meet up in a championship game, you know, the SEC is going to win the championship. So. You know, I'm, I'm just you know putting on for the SEC right now, but I'm uh, like like I say, I'm I'm extremely proud of all those women um, being able to put themselves in position to be able to again fight for a championship. So it's gonna be cool, man. Yeah, I know y'all look, y'all um, stay tuned if you want to oh, look. Oh yeah, uh, one w- one thing before you finish, shout out to uh, I'm going for LSU because um, I'm going for LSU all the way because Shorty, um, I think her last name is Reese or whatever. Um, she from Baltimore, so. Okay. So we're gonna we we're gonna ride that wave all the way to the finish line, you know what I mean? Okay, so. okay, okay. Yeah, so man, y'all be too, like I said, this is what it's about right here, you know. Yeah. All the rest of the games are good too, but this last final four, this is what it's about right here, man. So I'm I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. Um to see some great matchups, to see some good games, you know, um all the players leaving it on the court, putting it putting it all on the line, it's gonna be it's gonna be dope. So yes, looking forward to it, man. 
Um, so transitioning over to the NFL, NFL news, we got Frankie Flizzle. I know you ain't feeling good this week, man. What's going on? Man, well, I'm going to start off with uh, the regular news from everybody else first, and then I'm going to talk about what's going on with my team specifically. But we're going to start off with uh, six days ago, the Eagles extended Lane Johnson. Um, so that's that's how you feel about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I love the fact that Lane's still, you know, a part of our team. I think I had mentioned it, too, on Saturday. I, I, uh, I had briefly touched upon it. But, um, yeah, man, I love the fact that for Lane Johnson to be able to be there still, you know. And then, one, our O-line that we have now, we lost out to say Amalu. But, um, yeah. you know, you our, our O-line is pretty much young. Um, I, I'm glad Jason Kelsey came back to be able to, again, be the centerpiece for our line. I'm, I'm, I'm glad Lane Johnson is there to be able to – um, teach these younger linemen to how to be, you know, one of the best tackles, the best tackle in in the NFL. Um, he hasn't he hasn't allowed a sack in over two years. Damn, you know what I mean. So it's like you know, with that type of, um, you know, excellence and you know, skill, you know, he definitely wants to be able to pass that along to the other Philadelphia Eagles that you know come afterwards or after him, excuse me. And um, yeah, man, I just love it. You know, I love the. He's a he's a vocal point and a in a and a major anchor again in our line as well and, and you know it's gonna make our team even better so I'm enjoying it man I'm happy we got we got we got Darius Slay back we got James Bradbury back but I'm I'm looking we looking good man we looking good hey, that is, it's it's hard to build a team a great team it's harder it's even harder to keep it together well yeah well we doing good shout out to Howie yeah. man Howie yes, call sir. me call me Howie he need to talk to our goddamn people but anyway we'll get to that. Um, the Ravens signed Nelson Aguilar to a one-year deal. I, saw I it. like it. I saw you that know. too. I like that too. That was that wasn't bad. You know, he was the Eagle. He was Super Bowl champion. Yeah. You know, so he got he got experience around the NFL. So. Good leadership qualities. You know, they, he they say he only dropped three passes, but okay, you know, no drops is three drops is better than four drops. So yeah, yeah I'm I'm mad at it, but you know, we we moving in the right direction as of the wide receiver room. Um. And then the Seahawks re-signed. Well, he went back to the Seahawks. Uh, Bobby Wagner, I like that idea. Uh, one year, seven mil deal. Um, shout out to him getting his money. Um, who else? Who else? I think that might have been it. Oh, and um, the Falcons signed Calais Campbell. Okay. Um, so they're saying that Calais said that he wanted to go for a ring. Uh, I'm not sure why he went to the Falcons, but there has been a lot of rumors going around that. Although the Falcons said they didn't want to pursue Lamar Jackson, um, there is a lot of rumors saying that there is a contrary to that. So you know, you know how the the heads in the office go; they say one thing but really mean another. Mm. Um, but hats off to him getting his money. You know, great leadership on the defensive side, proven player, multiple years. Like I think he's been playing what twelve to thirteen years or something like that. Yeah, that was y'all de talk, right? Glad come. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but besides that, the only other news is players changing numbers and NFL players are allowed to wear the number zero now. I think that's pretty cool. You know, mm-hmm. C Money came in, talked to me yesterday. He was like, how you feel about the number zero? I said, I think it's pretty cool. He said, yeah, I, I think it's pretty cool too. So, you know, <laughs> that's how you sound. to C Money. Yeah, <laughs> nah, yeah, after his voice getting a little deeper. Okay, little boy getting big, deep. man. Man, he grow, by the, he grow by the minute, I swear. Um... But you know, shout out to C Money. He got his uh, they got like a little school play going on today, and he's uh, the casting director. So okay, you know, showing some leadership qualities. I tell him every day, be a leader, not a follower. You know what I mean? So yes, sir. Oh, and one more thing. Um, the the this this is for y'all, which I I, I love. The Eagles bring back the Kelly Green alternate uniforms officially mm-hmm. coming back this season. We're gonna be so, lit, boy. Them them Jones them Jones is. is they they too hard, you know what I mean? Fire. One of the best uniforms, you know. They, so they, lit, what? Oh, what? Man, that, that y'all gotta come out with a W. You know, I know y'all will. Y'all oh got yeah, it. we will. Yeah. Don't worry. No, we 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 working on that now. We working on you know perfecting yes, our team now, man. We you know getting in the trenches. We ready to get to work right now, man. You know. Yes, sir. I'm pretty sure every NFL team in, but you know we you know we that's what we do. You know, yes, we ready to go to work. Ready to go to back work, to coach. Back. Back to back. back. Super Bowl appearances. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully y'all get that ring this year. Get the w this time. Yes, sir. Don't worry. We're going to be back. Y'all be on the lookout, man. Yes, sir. But uh, in regards to Lamar Jackson, it's been a lot of talk. You know, I'm a I'm a, I'm a, a Lamar Jackson fan and a Ravens fan, so it's kind of been a little, a little, a little, a little rocky waters. But, you know, just like I was, I saw yesterday, you know, just, just based on what you and me been talking about, 
you know, just control what you can control in regards to everything in life, not just sports, but anything, you know, whatever the outcome is going to be, is going to be the outcome. Whether he stays, I'll still be a fan. Whether he goes, I'll be tight, but I'll still be a fan, you know, but because the organization is handling it right. But I mean, it's, it's out of my control. So like yeah. I said, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. I wish him the best if he stays here and I wish him the best if he goes. So, so what do you think is the odds of a quarterback requesting his trade and they stand at the same organization? What do you think the odds is? Well, see, this situation is tough because he doesn't have an agent. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. he's doing double the work. You know what I mean? But honestly, bro, like I said, I don't know. I got other things to worry about. But I would love for him to stay. But the odds, just based on things right now, I think he'll be here another year at least. Yeah, I would He's hope gonna so. He's going to play man. this year. And then we're going to reassess the situation. And then we're going to give him that money next year. I hope. Mm-mm. But Should I mean, I see? like I said, like I said, we're going to, whatever, whatever's meant to happen is going to happen. Amen to that, brother. So, yes, Amen to that, brother. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the XFL. Uh, make sure y'all be on the lookout, too. We, we will be having um, draft coverage coming here in the near future. I'm, oh, looking, yeah. to, I'm looking to partner with some um, some other podcast platforms as well um, so we can all have, you know, we get on here, speak about the draft, what you think our teams need, um, maybe do like a little mock draft type of joint. Uh, I'm wow. still networking right now. I'm waiting to get my um, another mobile phone back. I, I went yesterday to the store to get one, but it, it didn't work out the way I wanted, so I had to, I had to order one. And it'll be here probably tomorrow. Um, so I'll be able to get back to networking and things of that nature. So make sure y'all be on the lookout for that. Um, but again, with the XFL news, it's week seven. Uh, we have one game tomorrow on the 31st of March at 7 p.m. on FX. You can catch the Sea Dragons going up against the Renegades. Um, again, you can catch the Sea, sea Dragons going up against the Renegades. Make sure y'all check that game out tomorrow. Again, uh, MLB is here opening day for the What's MLB. Up? These are the Whole games. Game is going on. Yes, it is. Shout out to the Braves, man. Let's get it out. Let's, let's start our season off the right way. Um, we have the Braves going up against the Nationals at 105. We have the Giants versus the Yankees. We have the Ooh. Orioles versus the, the Red Sox. Yes, we sir. have the Brewers versus the Cubs. We have the Tigers versus the Tampa Bay Rays. We have the Phillies going up against the Rangers. We have the Twins going up against the Royals. We have the Mets going up against the Marlins. We have the Pirates going up against the Reds. We have the Blue Jays against the Cardinals. The White Sox against the Astros. The Rockies going up against the Padres. We have the Angels versus the Athletics. The Diamondbacks versus the Dodgers. And the last game of the night will be the Guardians versus the Mariners. So make sure y'all check it out. If you follow baseball again, it's opening day here in the MLB world in America. Make sure y'all check it out, man. Again, go Braves. Frankie Fly is an Orioles fan. Yes, sir. Hopefully y'all, hopefully y'all do better this year. Um, y'all had a pretty decent season last year. Um, you know, hopefully y'all, y'all, you know, build on top of that. And, and the yes, same sir. for my organization as well. So we can definitely be able to, um, you know, make an appearance again in the World Series two years from our championship. So, you know, let's get it, man. Let's go. Let's go rock out and, and, and start the season off the right way, which I think they will. They had a pretty good spring uh, spring camp, you know, spring training se- uh, season. So it was pretty good. Um yeah, man, I'm looking forward to it. We got a, we got a lot of good pitchers at the Braves. We got a lot of uh, our pitching depth is pretty good. You know, our, our you know batting lineup, our starting lineup is pretty good on the bats. So, you know, it should be it should be a good season this year. I'm looking forward to it. So, yes, sir. All right, transitioning over to the NBA side to round off our sports huddle. Uh, we're on the mer- we're on the verge of the playoff bubble. Um, the playoff is, is, is getting tight. You know, um, the Hawks are number. You know, we like numbers. Nine or ten, so you know we, we'll have an opportunity to play for a playoff spot currently at the moment. But we need to, we need to definitely be going in with better, with better mindset and better, you know, better plan. All right, recap from last night's game from the NBA. We had the Bucks defeat the Pacers one forty nine one thirty six. We had the Nets defeat the Rockets one twenty three one fourteen. We had the Heat, the Heat, the uh, fall to the Knicks one o two ninety two. We had the seventy sixers defeat the Mavericks one sixteen one o eight. We had the Lakers defeat the Bulls, 121-110. We had the Clippers defeat the Grizzlies, 141-132. We had the Thunder defeat the Pistons, 107-106. We had the Jazz defeat the Spurs, 128-117. 
we had the Kings um, reach their first playoff berth since like maybe 2008 or something like that. Um, they defeated the the Trailblazers last night, 121. Uh, excuse me, 120 to 80. So shout out to the Kings. The Kings got a pretty good young squad, and they're going to be. Uh, I think they're going to be dominant for a long time. Pretty good young players over there. And then um, Kevin Durant made his first home game appearance last night in Phoenix, nice. and the Suns defeated the Timberwolves 107-100. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's our sports recap for this week. Again, make sure y'all tune in for the NCAA championship game this weekend. If y'all are interested in that, um, make sure you follow your teams for the for the opening day um, in the MLB. If you have um, any, you know, any aspirations to make sure you check out some XFL games, any of those type of joints, make sure you do that. If you're in your local areas and you want to support the XFL, um, make sure y'all do that. But we appreciate y'all again for tuning in. We love y'all. Frankie Flizzle, appreciate you for being here this morning, man. Yes, um, you know, you continue to take care of your family, your baby. You're about to be expecting your daughter, you know, here shortly. And yes, I'm looking sir. forward to it. Man. I'm so excited for you. And it's such a blessing. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, make sure. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe on all of our major podcast platforms. Check, check us out on Amazon Music, um, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify. You can Google Great for Gap Podcast. It'll pop up on any other major podcast platform that is available on. Um, also, check us out on YouTube, our YouTube channel, Great for Gap Podcast. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Check us out on or check me out on Twitter at Great for underscore Gap. Check me out on Instagram at Great for Gap Podcast. You can check out Frankie Fly on um, Instagram as well at LOL underscore Frankie Bravo. So make sure y'all do that as well. And we'll see y'all again Saturday. Check me out tomorrow for some fun facts. Um, fun Fact Fridays here tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Great for Gap Podcast. And uh, we're going to see y'all until next time. Peace. Peace out. All right, my brother. Love you, dog. Love you too, bro. Have a good day, man. Be safe. You do the same, brother. Peace. All right.